Blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, we're going to finish uh, the configuration of a de dedicated DCP server, DNS, web, email and FTP servers by doing the two. Remember in the last video, we did the three web server, I mean web, DNS and DHCP. So in this video, we're going to do for email and FTP. So it's very, very important that you get yourself watching this video first, okay? Because uh, if you miss it, then you're not going to understand how the two are going to work, okay? Please watch the first part of this video. I will leave a link on the description part of the video or the first comment. If you don't see it there, then watch on our, our playlist. It will be there, okay? All right. So without any further ado, I'll open our Google spreadsheet and let you know that today we are finishing on number 7, okay? And um, our notepad is here ready for us, waiting for us. Remember, in the first video, we did form JCP, DNS, and web. And these were the steps that we followed to achieve that objective. Now, let's finish the, 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 the recording by doing the two, FTP and email servers. So what I'll do first, I'll just try to hurt them. I'll hurt them here. And, uh, and comment um, the IP addresses, okay? All right, so I'll do it very fast to save time. All right, so as you can see, our FTP server is 10.9 and our email server is 10.8 and if you watch if you did watch the uh, the previous video you can remember we excluded from 10.1 to 10.10 were to be assigned to servers statically okay so let me assign them that IP addresses so when I click here very very important you come to IP configuration and the FTP server is 10.9 okay uh, the server mask that one then the default key to is the IP address of the router, which was 10.1. Okay, you can remember that if you if you been if you've been following my videos, and DNS server has been 10.6. Kindly watch the previous video first. Okay, all right. So when I go to email server, the desktop, IP configuration, that's the IP address. Uh, default key to is 10.1, and DNS sh should be 10.6, and I close that one. All right, so um, so let's uh, go over to our notepad. Finish number one. Finish configuring static IP address to email and FTP server. I've just done that. Okay, so go go to FTP server and create username and passwords for login. All right, so let's go to FTP server, which is this one. Then we go to services, how to create um, username and passwords for FTP service. You come to services, then you go to FTP, okay? Then there are already a default username and password here. So what you just do, just try to remove it, okay? All right? Okay. And always make sure that the service is on. All right. So let's create a new username. Let's say admin admin. Uh, username is admin, password is admin, and give the user rights to write, to write, to read, to delete, to rename, and list, okay, and add the user, that's all we need, that's all about FTP, create the user and give the user rights, our user was admin, with the password of admin, with permissions, write read delete rename and list so if you close this one we come back to our uh, notepad number three says that test from any pc if ftp service is accessible accessible from the command prompt so i'll go back here any pc let me even choose this one i uh, will come to desktop and we come to command prompt let's test if our ftp server is reachable so how do we test? You just write FTP and the IP address of the FTP server, which was uh, 10.9, and we hit enter. You see, our FTP server is um, reachable. So what can we do? Let me just do it again. 
username was admin okay and the password was uh, admin also so if all of you i mean if any of you has ever used linux or any other uh, terminal you know how to navigate through ftp you can just say help you see these are one of them these are the um, uh, commands that you can use inside the ftp okay all right so that's all about ftp working all right so we are done with ftp good so i'll close this computer come back to our notepad and read step four go to the email server and create domain name username and passwords for login so email server you know we have to have a yeah, domain name. for example if your company is uh, gtech.com our employee let's say um, my our first employee is ben so the email address will be ben at gtech.com um dan at gtech.com things like that so let's go to our uh, email server i click on the email server then come to services then go to email okay always always make sure that these services are on first okay then we create domain name domain name is that gtech.com okay all right domain name is gtech.com just paste it there and set make make sure you paste it and set after setting it now create users how many computers do we have here let's say five so I can just say admin one admin one that's randomly okay admin one password to be admin one things like that and you click or add you come here also admin two password to be admin two you click add admin three let me do until uh, yeah this is the last one admin three admin three and you click add okay that's all we need that's all we need then you just close that one now after creating domain name username and password for login now we go to pcs and log in the emails there so we have to go to our computers and log into the emails there so let me try to choose even the first pc here after choosing the first pc come to desktop and click on the email your name mm, let's say admin one admin one okay now the email address will be admin one at gtech.com the domain name that we created don't forget at at for is, is used for emails okay gtech.com is our domain name that we created then the incoming mail server is the ip address of the email server very simple and very important 102.168.10.8 okay the same applies to the outgoing server it's this server that will be used to receive and send emails okay then now we go to um, username here we can even write let's say uh ben uh ben gtech gtech okay then under username under username is where you can write admin one admin one the one that we created don't forget the one that we created in the email server okay and the password was admin one your name you can write ben whatever you like but when it when it, when, when it comes to email address uh, and username don't forget the username should start first then the email follows at i mean at, at domain name follows okay and click save all right okay so let's go to even this pc and do the same so this one will be uh ken uh gtech okay so uh email address should be uh admin2 at gtech.com very simple incoming server and outgoing servers one and two did i really copy them no dot ten dot eight the same applies there 102.168.10.8 okay username is admin2 okay right 
and the password you can remember we're just randomly creating admin username as the same as the password so the same you create there and you save okay then you finally go to the last user that we created which was admin 3 let's say this done uh, gdh email address should be admin3 now at gtech.com okay in coming up going server the IP address of the email server don't forget very important very very important then the username is this one okay and the password is the same as that one and you save Remember, I only created how many username, users? Only three users in our email server. Okay, so it's those three users that are uh, that can log in to their emails. So I want this user to try to send email to this guy or to the other guy. I didn't configure this computer and this computer. So let's go here. Uh, the, this guy was. Uh, if you go to email. And you try to configure email then we copy his email okay uh, just click save after you've copied come to this PC that we started with come to email then try to compose then it's going to admin to say test and write anything test email and try to send so if you scroll down you can see Sending email to admin2 with subject test email server is 1.2.168.10.8. Send successful. Let's try to send it to let's try to send it to admin3, which is admin3 here. Okay, test email and send. If you scroll down, you can see sending to admin3. That one then send save. Okay, so if you go back to uh, admin2. And come to email you want to retrieve what you have been what has been sent to you just click on receive you will see admin one sent you an email here okay you can even reply thank you thank you and you confirm first it's been sent okay all right then let's go to admin 3 let's go to admin 3 which was this guy and try to see if admin one really sent an email there so click you see admin one did send an email here okay just reply okay and send all right so let's try to go to admin one if it has received email from admin two and admin three so go to email and click on receive you can see there are two emails here from admin 2 and admin 3 so let's click from admin 3 you can see it uh, admin 2 was replying we thank you and the other guy was uh, also replying okay okay all right so guys very very simple and interesting i really believe this video has really helped you know how to configure tcp server dns server web server email server and ftp server so i'll mark that part as done so if you meet tomorrow we're going to uh, configure ds relay agent both on the router and a mat layer switch please don't forget to subscribe like this video share with friend and drop a comment below bye and see you again in the next video